behind me I'm suddenly so scared <laughs> okay this one is from our place these are I think my new pots and pans oh at the accessories para sa mga dumplings Ooh. Ay, oh my goodness this is the lid oh and this is my what? Oh my freaking god, it is so cute. Look at the color. Okay, so it goes like... Yay! Okay, there's more. This is a pan, a mini pan. And I got it in an exciting color. The lid again, look at that. Another wooden spoon. And the pan itself. This is what they look like, you guys. Upgrade from my old ones, which are these. Like, guys, tignan nyo naman na ROI ko na sila. Yung isa meron pang butas. There. <laughs> and, um, honestly, maganda din naman yung quality nito. Ceramic coating din to. And I got these from Amazon, like, three years ago when I first moved here. And ganun ko na rin to katagal ginagamit. And, I really think that they held great. It's just that, of course, when I was first starting to cook, I really used and abused these pans. Like, as in, every time na magluluto ako dati, high heat, high heat talaga. So, sobrang, you know, nakaka-harm siya sa mga pans, sa mga pots, sa mga coatings. So, ganyan yung nangyari sa kanila. But they still have a lot of life left to them. So, I think, um, itodonate ko na lang to somewhere para hindi naman sayang and yun excited ako dito guys kasi I got this from a brand like as you can see here from our place and sila yung parang brand na conscious sa what their products are made of and I'm happy kasi yung mga coating nito I think this is ceramic um, yung coating niya is free of forever chemicals toxin free that's really how they market their products so I trust that. This brand also has so many positive reviews online, you guys. And they also have Selena Gomez use their products. So somehow I, I trust them, you know? So I'm very excited to use these. By the way, these... Oh, shit! These spruce steamers, mini spruce steamers are supposed to go perfectly over my mini pan. And it does go very well, perfectly. Where's the lid? Guys, mind you, this is just the mini pan. Kasi ito lang talaga yung portion na kailangan ko for someone who only cooks for herself and living alone. And as you can see, yun nga, ito lang dalawa talagang pots and pans yung pinakagamit ko. Kasi ito lang yung pinakaginagamit ko. So I suggest na kapag, you know, mag-move out kayo or titira kayo sa sarili nyo, ito lang talaga yung kailangan nyo sa totoo lang. Yung sinigang ko, dito ko lang niluluto. See, ganito lang talaga yung portion na perfect for someone who lives alone. Okay, next package. Oh, my favorite sunscreen, guys. I bought a five-pack. Kasi ayoko na nang nauubusan ako in the middle of something. It's the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. I really love this, guys. Super seamless, no white cast. Literally like moisturizer for my skin. I don't even use moisturizer no more on daytime so highly suggest this sunscreen y'all i got them from stylevana minsan shitty yung shipping nila minsan naman sobrang bilis like now so depende lang siguro sa season but if you want them i'm linking them below this one is from bow and t i already know this these are some new workout rompers for me to use. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Of course, I got a yellow one kasi bihira lang makahanap ng yellow. Ah! I hope it fits me well though. I got it in size extra small. And then the other one is a longer, longer version. Um, It's like a jumpsuit. I also got this one in extra small. Yeah, I hope they fit me well. I think these are my dumplings. Guys, I ordered dumplings online because apparently they're like the best in the market right now that I know of with the best ingredients 
clean ingredients somehow. These are like frozen stuff that they shipped to me, so that's why it comes in such big box. Because there are um, dry eyes. It is so much. Can y'all see that? I got the pork and shrimp dumplings. I got the oh my god, the chicken dumplings. Neri fun kuto, neri fun nila ako dito kasi sabi ko yung kung chicken, but they still send me it. Okay. And then I just have a few sauces here. I got the the sauce trio pack. So I have all of these. That's it, guys, for my recent um, purchases. So tomorrow, let's do our grocery. Hi, friends. It's the next day, and I'm wearing the romper. I know I said yesterday I bought this for workout and all that, but this is also for my running errands outfit. You know, I like to wear at leisure outfits whenever I'm running errands, and running errands include grocery shopping. And grocery shopping is like my cardio, so therefore, it is a workout. Anyway. We're on our way to Whole Foods Market. Don't I make a grocery list today? And guys, to share my thought process when it comes to doing my grocery list. As a young adult, my hobbies now include watching cooking videos on YouTube or like Instagram Reels. Mostly Instagram Reels. Adi ka ho don. And then you know, from there, I get inspiration on what I want to cook for the week or what I want to eat and yeah that's how I do my grocery list accordingly avocados kasi yung isang avocado is just perfect for one serving so it was left over because sometimes it's so tricky to keep avocados fresh once it's open and have you know I was so anxious earlier because Rio kept barking and he's not supposed to bark in a grocery store. But there was this one lady who complimented my outfit so suddenly I'm smiling again. <laughs> Compliments really make someone's day, you guys. We're on our way home, you guys, and it's so gloomy. <sighs> Summer is over, y'all. Number one desirable Out of what I want when I want and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air That's how I roll I got tons of soul on my true collection
collective ball Famous, who's the famous number one, is our ball Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I roll I got changes, so I don't care about my gold Better, so much better, flipping, incredible Always on the show, so they know that I still got it And I never feel sorry, yeah, it's about the world This is my city, guys, it's so cute, right? Oh my god, there's a fucking cop behind me. I'm suddenly so scared. <laughs> okay, finally, wala na siya. <laughs> Hello friends! So this is what our fridge looks like so far. I loaded them last night. I didn't get to film because um, I felt so tired last night. But this is what we have so far. Most of the things in my fridge are condiments, sauces, and drinks. And the rest are my fresh produce for the week. So if you watch my last vlog, which was this, you already know that you know I keep my limes in my airtight jar like this, soaked in water. And then my greens for the week are these romaine lettuce that I stored in a Ziploc bag lined with a paper towel under. Um, the last time I did this with my iceberg lettuce, it worked, so I'm gonna continue to do it. The last time I did my iceberg lettuce, it lasted me almost four weeks, guys. So I really find this effective. And then for my avocados, they're basically all ripe now. As you can see, they're all dark. So I'm just keeping them here in my fridge to preserve the ripeness and they don't go bad that fast. So now I'm left with my green onions and cucumber and my peeled garlic and my potatoes which are not in my fridge. We are gonna do homemade hash browns so let's do that. Let's start with the garlic first. Alright, for the garlic, I'm gonna put fresh ones in this jar for me to use within the week. And then the rest, I'm going to use my manual food processor and I'm gonna be freezing them using this silicone food grade tray. <laughs> I got this food chopper from Yes Style three years ago. <laughs> Matagal na guys. And I've been using it since then and this has been very, very useful. You can also find this anywhere actually, even on Amazon. Yay! See? It's like finer. Okay, whatever ends up in the hole. <laughs> Ayan, guys. This is low-key satisfying. By the way, guys, there are store-bought minced garlic that comes in jars. But I personally don't prefer those because they... Some of them have unnecessary ingredients. And they don't taste the same. I promise guys, para silang pickled garlic and I don't like the taste kapag ginamit mo na siya sa pagluluto. Maybe for salads or some toppings of some sort. But for cooking, I can really taste the difference. So, i rather just do this, do this on my own. I don't need preservatives because I'm just gonna freeze them. Also, you can buy... <laughs> The garlic bulbs, yung fresh fresh talaga, but I just resorted to this one, my organic peeled garlic, kasi I, I just want to cut the labor. Okay, so the way I would use these frozen garlic is I would get a pan, put it on the stove, turn on the heat, and then melt the garlic cube on the pan first, just a little bit. And then once I don't see visible water i would put oil and then you know saute as normal but be careful only melt this on low heat guys okay never never cook or start your cooking on high heat unless some recipe call you to do so listen to me okay i warned you guys because if you do it like say oil and then you put the frozen garlic it's either sobrang magtatalsik talsik or sisik club ng apoy yung pan nyo. so be careful. Here's our garlic so far. I made it as even as possible. And then, as you can see, I still have a lot of slots empty here. I could just leave it like this. But I'm thinking to do my green onions as well. Especially um, this bottom part. Because the bottom or the white part 
is like good for sauteing. Of course, I'm gonna cut off the roots. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this in like bite-sized pieces just so it's easier for my food chopper. Yay! Oh my god. Nakahilam, guys. One thing about me, guys. Once I ran out of garlic and onion, that's when my cooking routine gets thrown off. And when my cooking routine is thrown off, I feel funky. <laughs> I don't have a good start to my day because I didn't get to cook a heavy first meal of the day because that's what I usually do. I like eating heavy for brunch or breakfast. And I like savory first meal of the day. So, of course, any savory food that is good for my Asian taste buds require me to use garlic and onion I can freeze onion I think but I just have a few ones in my in my pantry I don't even need them to be frozen so ito yung marami ako so ito na lang yung if freeze ko para in emergency purposes you know I have something. I have garlic and I have onion. I mean, this is not onion onion, but you know what I mean. It's a part of an onion, so I still get the oniony taste. Alright, so the rest of my green onions, I am gonna be vacuum sealing and freezing them in this chunk. Because this chunk is like what I use for my egg soup, so... So this is good for the week. And for the rest of the month. For the cucumber, I cannot really eat this whole thing in one sitting. You guys so might as well prepare it for the whole week. Also, the lighting, guys. Grabe sobrang gloomy today. Cucumber! By the way guys, I also went to the butcher shop yesterday, so let's do some of my frozen meat. And then we'll do the homemade hash browns. Now let's make hash browns. Peel the potatoes and soak them in water for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is done. It's time for us to grate our shredder potatoes. You can use the regular grater like this or a food chopper like this. This is low key better, but either way, it's an arm workout. That's why I'm wearing my jumpsuit. <laughs> I say only grate four cups of potatoes and measure as you go. I only ended up using two of the potatoes and not four and then from here squeeze as much water as you can from the potatoes and what i learned from here you guys is that if not much water is coming out from the potatoes salt it put salt and then eventually you, you get to squeeze more water i had to split my potatoes in two containers you guys because i don't have a big one so as i go i'm splitting ingredients but i'm listing everything on the screen for your reference Sobrang dali lang nito, promise. And if ever man na medyo napakomplikado ko tignan, promise hindi. Kung kaya ko tong gawin, mas kaya nyo rin. First time ko lang din kasi tong ginagawa. So medyo um, nangangapa ako. So from here, I'll be making eight even hash browns as much as possible. If one's manipes or yung iba makapal, I will adjust accordingly. Again, I could have just easily bought pre-made hash browns. But I'm avoiding the unnecessary oils and preservatives, so that's why I like to do my own. This is fun, guys. It's like I'm playing with clay. <laughs> I 
finally, eight hash browns and one final spray of avocado oil. And then these go to the freezer like this. Then once individually frozen, bag them. Good morning, friends. Let's try our hash browns. And then let's do our eggs. Just a tiny bit of oil. See it? Cover for two minutes. By the way, friends, I'm also filming high protein breakfast ideas in this exact same moment. So you might see this same footage in another video. Hash browns cooking, eggs cooking. Okay, let's flip it halfway. While they're cooking, prepare the avocado. Once it's white on top, I know it's ready. It's looking really good so far. Okay, let's assemble. One tablespoon of cottage cheese, avocado, bacon bits. Oh shit, I forgot my egg! Guys, I stopped recording. I don't know what happened. Pero nakakain na ako ng isa. And I was saying na successful yung hash browns natin. And all in all, I really like the taste. Mm -mm. 